Okay, so first thing I like to do is I like to go into Google and just look up stuff like parkour or like ninja poses and stuff. Uh, and that's usually where I get a lot of the inspiration from my poses and stuff. I like to start off by moving the feet and I just move them out a little bit like this. I move one of them back a little and then another one forward a little. Okay, so once I've done that, I like to move the body bit, just sort of bend it over a little bit like that. I think I'm gonna have like some skeletons or something like a mob and you know, he's He's maybe in like a cave and he's being chased or something. I have no idea. Yeah, so we're gonna move his arm maybe. I think I'll have a torch in this hand. So I'm just gonna move this like that. It's usually like a, a good torch looking pose. And um, something I do with the arms on like every render I do is I move them like a bit so that it's not so stiff. That's really a like main tip I want to get across is that when you're doing your renders you want them to look really smooth and natural so if you have something like that i don't know maybe if we move the head so it's facing like that way when you're just when you're like doing the cinema 4d stuff as well you want to be thinking about you know like what kind of stuff you you plan to be doing in photoshop because that saves you a lot of time and you know it, it gives you like a better idea of what kind of stuff you want to do so now i'm gonna get a sword i'm gonna be using the infinite sword rig i'll put a link to this in the description as well so you guys can use it uh it is free and you know it's, it's pretty good uh, lots of people use it go up to your camera thing just click camera uh click this thing so it's white and then go down to here where it says focal length and change this to 28. uh that's kind of important it gives you like a really nice depth of field sort of if you go up here to this this pen thing and you put a circle and you grab the camera and you drag it underneath the circle like that and then you click the two dot things up here like that uh then you kind of have this camera thing and you can get some pretty cool camera angles uh i kind of don't kind of want to get one where i don't have that glitch but um yeah so we're gonna have like that maybe now we're gonna put the sword in the hand so go out of the camera so if we get that and then when i like put weapons in the hands and stuff i like to line it up so that this hilt bit isn't like going into the hands too much because i don't really like it when that happens so, yeah that looks pretty good um uh, just gonna move that down a bit because i want it to be centered and yeah so if we go like that uh that looks okay i mean it's not the best now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the rig and uh this might be different if your rig already has like a attachments thing but um go to the arms go to the left arm or the right arm whatever one you're putting the thing in and just drag that underneath there like that so now if you move the hand the sword is pretty much gonna go with it which is uh what you want so now i'm just gonna slightly adjust the sword rig a bit i'm gonna rotate these feet but when you're like making the poses just gonna make slight adjustments to everything as you're going and it'll look a whole lot better just small things can look really good so yeah, once we've got that, I'm gonna maybe move it down a bit like that so we can uh, have some like stuff going on with the hips. <laughs> I don't know. Just make slight adjustments to stuff like that. We rotate that like that. Now I'm just gonna put the torch into the hand over here. Maybe adjust the head a little bit. So for the pack I'm using for like items and stuff, I'm using Weed Lion's block pack or something I, I think that's what it's called um it's free i'll put a link to it in the description but uh quite a few people use it so you probably already have it or maybe you've got like your own porch rig i don't know we're just gonna put that in here bring it up a bit pull it out because I, I sort of like everything to be like i want it to look as good as it can really just gonna adjust the torch a bit so i'll be back once i've done that Okay, so I adjusted the torch a bit and I just moved the arm a little bit and I'm just gonna move the head now so it's sort of like that. Now we're gonna add some mobs. So I thought for this, uh, I might have said this earlier, but I was thinking maybe if we were in like a cave and then we had some skeletons or something and he comes out and gets the skeletons. I'm pretty much trying to recreate sort of what you guys would have seen in the last speed art. I'm gonna be using just this random skeleton rig that I have. Um, I, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but uh, I'll try to find a link for it and put it in the description. Just sort of bring that out to the side like that. 
you know, rotate it. And um, I'm going to have like two of them and just sort of have them like, you know, sort of looking over them. And then in the other end we'll do, we'll have them like standing on one of their heads and then like chopping them up or something. I don't know. We're going to have the skeleton bring its arms up like that. Honestly, with posing, once you really like understand what moves what, then you can pretty much like you'll get really good at it if you just practice and stuff. Sometimes you might have to go out of the camera and just, you know, sort of like rotate around and then grab that and then go back. So bring that back and rotate the chest bit again. And maybe have the mouth coming out a bit like down or something. Might actually move the like hip bit here coming out like that. And then because of the legs. There's really just a bunch of like adjusting stuff. I don't know. So once you've got this, then Move the skeleton rig, just like move stuff around honestly. I'm gonna have it like like that. I think, I think that looks okay. Um right, so once you've done that skeleton, uh you can do another one if you want. I'm gonna do another one, so just copy and paste that one, bring it over to the other side maybe, just rotate it around and bring that down and fix it up. So click on the head and just rotate it. Uh I'm gonna skip to when I've sort of fixed up the skeleton, just to save time, because I don't want this tutorial to go on forever. Uh, once again, I just want to like apologize for like how shit the audio on this is, because um, I'm like gonna buy a mic pretty soon, so that would be exciting. Uh, not shit tutorials anymore. In fact, by the time you guys probably see the Photoshop tutorial or something. I'll probably have nice audio then because I have a brand new mic or something. But uh, yeah, now that we've got this, it's looking pretty good. Uh, but there's some extra like small things you can do to make your renders really like better. So uh, one of the things is if you have like skeletons or something and there's like a facial control panel, um, definitely go into it. So, you know, just come around like that. Just fix up the skeleton eyes and stuff. So what I like to do is I like to have them all the way up and then have this one kind of come down. That. so it's sort of like they're angry and then um this one has like this thing you can do here so i'm gonna do that because that's the thing and maybe adjust the pupils as well you know so they're sort of like looking on them so now we've got that that looks pretty good just gonna do the same thing for the other one and yeah i'll be back once we've done that <laughs> Okay guys, so I've done that now and it looks pretty cool, laid. the skeletons look pretty angry and that's sort of what I was going for. Now you can sort of just adjust the circle thing or whatever so you get like a nice camera angle. So I think I'm going to do something like that and then we're going to have like that and now you can just render it out and that's your first render pretty much. Alright guys, so uh, the render turned out a little bit weird, but I think it'll look good with what we're going for because in Photoshop we can just, you know, fix stuff up. Uh, the torch is a little bright, but you know, you can fix that in Photoshop. So um, now once you've done that, grab your circle, move it around the other side, like, like that. So you get a nice angle like there. And now we're gonna delete the torch because I don't think I really want to use it for this next thing, so... Delete. Now we're gonna have the other pose like in the last speed up thing I did. So to do that, I had one of the skeletons gone except the head. So I just copied the head of that one and delete that and then paste it. And now you've got a nice skeleton head and we'll sort of move that over there. Uh, we can bring this skeleton back down like here. Uh, like way out here, I don't know. Um, now I think I'm gonna move the foot like there and this other foot, bring this up like he's, he's gonna be standing on the head so we want it to be up anyways. But um, yeah, sort of <laughs> like that, I don't really know. Um, and then grab the head, just before we do that, maybe just move the mouth a bit. So adjust the mouth, go like that, and we'll just adjust the eyes a bit as well. So maybe like that. So yeah, once we've got that, then we can move that underneath the head. That will be fine. So just like that, you know, you might want to adjust the foot a bit, otherwise, you know, that could be a bit weird. So yeah, just like that. I think that look actually looks really good. So now we're gonna move the head out there, maybe. In fact, we might even bring everything down, but and then bring this head down. There. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, now we're gonna have this foot sort of down 
there. I honestly don't know if this tutorial is any help to you guys, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I make my renders and stuff. I like to show you guys Photoshop and all that. So uh, we'll have a look at that. And I think I hit the arm um, uh, like there. That looks pretty good. Keep the head in a similar place. Maybe just move the arm a bit somewhere else. Honestly, if this tutorial is really useful, I mean useless, I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I just felt like I had to make this bit because I'm doing it more. Then with the other skeleton, I'm gonna have it so it's like falling. So bring that out here and then have it so it's rotated like that. So he's, you know, the character's sort of like standing up. And then um, I might just try to fix it here if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna have the skeleton sort of look like he's falling. And that's looking pretty good. So I think this is what I'm going to do, and I'll just fix up the bits out there and render it out. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, like, short tutorial thing. Hopefully it is short, and I hope you guys maybe did learn something, or, I don't know, maybe got some inspiration. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and the uh, render fix, the Photoshop, the, like, big one that everyone wants. Um, I promise that will be out soon. Uh, I just don't want to like, okay, I don't want to rush it too much, but um, this one I sort of felt, well, like it's fine if I rushed it. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.